Today, our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom came under attack in a series of deliberate and deadly terrorist acts. great politically correct falsehood that is taught everywhere, that Islam is a religion of peace that's been hijacked. Islam is actually unique among the religions of the world in having a developed doctrine, theology, and legal system that mandates warfare against unbelievers. Probably the biggest misconception that I personally would like to debunk about Islam in general and Wahhabism in particular is that violence does not have to be part of the picture. Um, all Muslims are not. Um, AK-47 toting terrorist nutcases. Uh, the overwhelming majority of Muslims reject Osama bin Laden, Al-Qaeda, and extremism and violence. Uh, what they are looking for is the ability to live normal lives, to have security for themselves and for their families, to have the ability to have jobs and to make a decent living and to be part of the fabric of whatever country they happen to be living in. Ibn Abdul Wahhab's ideology was centered on the idea of Tawheed, the unity of God, and that you're not supposed to worship anyone or anything other than God. Okay, fine, that's what most monotheists believe. The question is, does that entitle you to commit violence against people who do not share that belief or who perhaps have a different understanding of God from your own? And when I looked very carefully at his writings, what he said was that people who do not share this interpretation may need to be educated, they may need some correction or provision of different ideas, but nowhere does he say that it is justified to kill them. Osama bin Laden. We declared a jihad, a holy war, against the United States government because it is unjust, criminal, and tyrannical. I think one of the biggest misconceptions that most people have of jihad is that it necessarily is some kind of fight or that violence has to be part of it. Jihad is supposed to be restoring a broken relationship. And that's certainly very different from what Osama bin Laden and uh, his followers in Al-Qaeda have had to say where you have this vision of this unending global jihad that's supposed to continue until the end of the universe where the Mahdi returns or uh, depending on who you're reading the ultimate outcome may be very different. Uh, if people would avail themselves of the opportunity to actually talk to real people as opposed to just listening to what they hear on the news or horror stories that might be published in magazines, if they took the time to have a personal experience uh, they would probably come away from that very enriched and with a deeper desire to understand more and hopefully connect at a human level.